All right, I've started my next build, which uh, I've tentatively named the Locomotive Series. Uh, this will be the first one. Um, it's going to be kind of modeled after my Spike Series, uh, which is my first kind of standardized design using 530 seconds keystock material and some uh, just some leftover wire, recycled flat wire that was just really easy to make the reeds out of. Uh, but for these, I am waiting on some sample spring steel pre-cut blanks that Jamie Bebb from the Harpery is sending to me to try out. Um, I haven't been able to get my hands on any proper sp spring steel, so he's uh, he's helping me out here, and I'm going to try uh, my first builds using um, good materials. So, uh, yeah, my idea with this being possibly the locomotive series is uh, it's going to be a standardized design. Um, I'd like it to hopefully be a good fast-playing harp, because that's the way I like to play. And uh, the idea is going to be kind of my flagship, so um, locomotive, uh, we'll see. Um, looking forward to getting started on it. I've uh, used my tube bender here to um, start off with the first couple of bends. And then my next step is to create the, the main bend in the body here, which I haven't come up with a better way of doing other than just heating the hell out of it with a torch and then wrapping it around a socket with a pair of pliers. I got to figure out something better than that. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I've been smashing and shaping and bending a little bit. Um, I haven't heated it at all. This has all been cold bending. Uh, I managed to use the tube bender, uh, get a good curve started, and then I've just been kind of bending it around this old weird thing as a bit of a mandrel uh, to try and get the shape. But uh, what I'm finding is that I've got too much of a gap here now, and I want to come closer but I want to keep the length on these arms. So I am going to have to come down in size a little bit, and I'm going to have probably a much smaller round portion at the back of the frame here. So we'll see how this goes. This is, again, 3 16 key stock.
こう。Okay, I am eagerly awaiting these reed blanks to be showing up. It should be any day. I've been tracking it, and I'm, I think it's going to come tomorrow. So I uh, started bending some frames to get prepped, uh, trying out a few things, uh, including uh, a failure here. As you can see, the arms are just way too out of whack, and I don't think it's worth the time trying to fix it. 
I am just going to hang it up here on a reject pile for now, and uh, maybe one day I'll put some effort into it if I run out of material. But in the meantime, uh, this was modeled after my Spike series. It's using a 3 16 key stock uh, as opposed to 5 30 seconds, which is what I like for the smaller Spike series. So this will be kind of an experiment. We'll see how that goes. That one was uh, a little tough to bend. Um, no torch involved. This one, I was trying to be more consistent and I used the tube bender to bend here, whereas this was more done kind of by hand in the vise with the pliers, all that sort of thing. Uh, so this um, was an attempt to get some consistency with using the tube, tube bender here to come up with the same thing over and over again. Uh, again, it was a little bit too tough to try and repeat. So this is going to be kind of a one-off experiment, I think, as well. And this guy, I believe, is going to be the one that I can easily bend only, almost only with the tube bender, be consistent, proper, you know, like with the same measurements here, same bends on the inside. Uh, it has kind of a cool shape to it. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. So this might be the first um, of hopefully the standard design of maybe my, what's possibly going to be called the locomotive series. We'll see. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.